What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boy the Fly Freeman, uh, representing Greensboro, North Carolina. Right now, May Chiefs MMA, coached by Ty Maru and Stephen Matthews. Uh, this is a, actually my first introduction of my, my vlog. I kind of actually didn't do it. My, uh, my first couple of videos that I posted, but they basically just me um, sparring and actually uh, getting some good work in at Lindley Boxing Gym out here in Greensboro. Uh, they kind of, you can kind of say they're like stable mates to me, uh, to this boxing thing. Um, I actually only been boxing for about, when you say now, six, seven months. Uh, I wasn't really boxing like that when I was in the Army. Uh, the Army took a lot of time up, so I really couldn't do it as much as I wanted to. But um, now, I, I've been out since last year of 2018. So, you know, I didn't really fight. I decided to do it uh, right after my first two fights with Street Beast. Um, to the people out there that don't know, out there, uh, I do this, I am a fighter at this, uh, this YouTube channel called Street Beast. Um, they're actually pretty big, um, big time people. Um, I didn't, I actually ended up picking up on it early um last year in 2018 and they're kind of just been peeping game on it but um i was kind of one of those individuals where i was talking shit i ain't gonna lie and i kind of told myself you know if you're gonna be one of those people that talk shit you might as well go out there and, and improve it you know you don't know what you may you know you don't know who you may fight out there you know uh, me being a fighter you know that was kind of my mindset so uh i took one out there and gave it a shot and uh that's where i actually found a, a, my my gym actually that matrix mma um I, I didn't know a good gym out here in greensboro and uh someone that was on street beast you know that fought on there knew that knew someone that i consider a coach and a mentor to me and a big brother um and it went from there man uh after my first two fights i, I didn't go to the gym and then i waited till about like july and uh i ended up starting boxing so i ain't, i haven't been doing it long um I'm still new to it. I'm, I'm just, I, that's why I call it, you know, I call myself butterfly because, you know, if you actually think of a butterfly, the first thing starts off as a, you know, as a worm, you know, it's basically, and you don't really know anything. And then when it's in its cocoon, it's when it's developing into, you know, a beautiful butterfly, you know. So I'm looking at myself in this boxing game and the sweet science of it. And I'm just saying, you know, you're in your cocoon phase, you know, you finally got the opportunity to do it. You know, and you're here now, you got time, you know, so me being a veteran, I'm going to school and, and fighting, so I'm, I'm balancing both of those now, so for me, uh, this is a big opportunity, and I'm in my, my cocoon phase. Uh, I'm not officially a butterfly yet, but, you know, give it time, and you'll see it. Um, a lot of people, you know, I probably get later into it about how I call myself the butterfly. I really don't want to. Right now, but uh, if I ever do a Q and A, you know, it comes back up. I'll tell, I'll tell y'all why. I think butterflies pretty dope. Um, but yeah, I actually need to be. Uh, I'm probably gonna be leaving to go to the gym soon. But my video, my my vlog is basically just um, me going, you know, seeing the daily life of a fighter. Um, I don't just also, I don't also just uh, do street beats. I actually do amateur boxing. Um, I I. Finally got my uh, my registration now. I got my license, so I can actually uh, start doing amateur fights now. I just gotta go get my book. But you know, um, like I said, I've only been doing it for about seven months, six seven months to be honest. Um, I took a couple of injuries starting off. Um, that's why I didn't come to Street Beast for a minute. Um, Cause I took a, a, a elbow injury on my left and. I ended up getting sick, so I was just, it was just messed up in October and November, so, I mean, September and October, but, um, excuse me, but, uh, yeah, so, basically, my, my videos is just gonna be me just training, man, you can see everything of it, uh, every day, you know, I got, I got a lot of downtime now that I'm out of the Army, so, you know, uh, I do a lot of training, a lot of exercising, you know, trying to keep my mind right, um, and that's it, man, so, Hopefully I get to see the rest of these, you know, this amazing adventure that I'm about to go through and put myself through. Man, I want you guys to, you know, see it and enjoy it. 
I try to post videos as much as I can, when I can, which will probably be every day. Um, so you can see something of what I did throughout that day. And, you know, that's just me keeping up my conditioning and, and you know, my boxing mentality, man. And just working, keeping my head down and working. That's all I'm doing. Um, I also do the street beats as an opportunity to, uh, to get experience. You know, you actually in there, I don't think a lot of people know, man. I've been in there with a few people that actually know how to thump. You know, I ain't gonna say they, they know what they're doing in boxing, but they, they know how to throw a punch and they'll probably put someone to sleep out there in the streets, like real talk. So, man, I'm impressed I can take a punch. And I only had a few people that actually almost rocked me. Um, I won't say who, but I, trust me, they know. Um, but yeah, man, um, I do it to, I do street beats to get the experience. Um, I also, you know, I'm making a name for myself. This is this is my resume, to be honest. I'm not going to go pro for a hot minute. And I mean a hot minute. So, but I will be doing amateur. Y'all will see the amateur fights. I will post them on my personal videos. And then, you know, obviously Street Beast. Y'all can go on there and just watch me from there anytime I want. So, then if you don't know, just type up Butterfly. You'll see my stupid ass right there. So, you know, um, you know I'm 6-1. Uh, I lost one fight to my own damn self, to be honest. Um, I should have won that fight, but I was bullshitting and, and I wasn't ready. So, but I also learned a lot from that fight because I wasn't used to something like that. So now I know how to play this game. I think I'm gonna hold my title for a hot minute now. But um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, Mike's about to go to the gym. I'm almost running a little late right now, so. Uh, I'm, obviously, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be doing throughout the day, and hopefully, I get to enjoy this amazing adventure of the butterfly effect. But I'm out. <laughs> I got done going to the gym and uh i just got done with my workout i basically had to do 50 40 30 20 tens double unders burpees uh box jumps and uh uh wall balls which basically you're just throwing the ball up in here and you're, and you're squatting down and coming back up and you're throwing the ball up in here basically uh i do all that of each so i do 50 of each 40 of each 30 of each and so forth and yeah that took the whole time and uh usually at my gym we always do a, a one mile mile on like 200 meters so uh like warm up and then we get the uh we get to working out and the workouts man i'm gonna be honest y'all like my coach is an asshole i'm not even gonna lie like i'm sore i'm walking like a newborn giraffe right now like real talk and i'm in pain and so, uh, so I'm getting ready to go go home and uh, 
basically just go ice my legs up and then around like one or two o'clock I'm gonna go hit the treadmill. So uh actually no, yeah I may do it around like two o'clock or we'll go around at three, three o'clock, it all depends on how my legs are feeling. Uh the latest I may go is like three o'clock. So but uh right now I'm about to go home and uh keep y'all updated, man, basically. On this crazy first day. Hey, what's going on y'all? Uh on my way back for my uh my train and I'm about to go run. Uh I'm sore as hell. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but that's all part of the process. You know, go through things like that. And you just gotta ride it out. But you know, I'm trying to ride it out as much as I can. And uh, you know, I'm about to go do technical work, hit the bag. Uh hopefully my, my, my stable mate he show up. We'll do some catch drills. Um, actually starting to like that. It, it helps us a lot. Uh, and other than that, man, I mean, y'all get to see a little bit of, of it. This morning, y'all, I mean, y'all saw me sucking because it's my first day back. I actually went home for uh, Christmas. Spent time with my, my little girl. Um, I'm not originally from Greensboro. I'm actually from Dallas, Texas. Uh, Dallas is my home. Uh, West Dallas is where I'm from. Uh, so, for me, man, it's, uh, yeah. I had to go home and spend time with my little girl. And so, I came back finally uh, on the weekend and I said I was gonna hit it hard Monday. So, I'm hitting it hard. And it's hurting. I'm hurting like hell. I ain't gonna lie. But, just give me y'all heads up. So at this point, what I'm doing is basically jabbing, but I'm stepping. And as I'm stepping, I'm taking quarter inch steps. But well, not even really a quarter inch, a sixteenth of an inch. Where it's not big, but it's not small either. I'm kind of a in-between type of guy. But now as I'm throwing the jab, I'm making sure that my foot, my, my feet are in place where they need to be. On my back leg, I'm on my top, my, my balls on my feet. And on my front leg, I'm kind of... You know, I'm on the balls of my feet, but I'm not really fully on my front. I'm just kind of balanced out, and I'm just stepping forward with, with my back leg. Now, at this point, I'm going back. I'm going to be stepping with my front leg as I'm pushing back. Most boxes, actually, some knockouts actually happen from the front leg, from a boxer just stepping forward and throwing. Now, I usually do this drill about seven times before I even touch the bag or do my shadow boxing. Before I do anything, this is what I'm usually trying to start off with on my Mondays is my footwork, going back and forth, side to side, back and forth, side to side. I do that, and I count that as one. So I go back and forth, then side to side, and then back as one. And then I come back and do the same thing again. So. And the reason why I do that is because as a boxer, I'm starting to learn now from my coaches and them chewing my ass out about it, is everything is repetition. So I'm, I'm a big pet peeve on footwork. I think footwork is the key in boxing that a lot of people don't take seriously. And I take it very seriously. So my number one thing is to work on that. And balance and footwork goes hand in hand in boxing and you need it. So I do this drill about seven times just to get get my legs going and it helps me every time I get in the fight. Now, when I get done with the drill, the very last thing I would do is I will finish where I start. So most of the time I like to finish in the front 
and I would just either go side to side in a small space and I would just stay in place. That way I don't, I get used to throwing punches from, you know, just in that position. Now I'm showing y'all the clacker. That's basically my jabs. How many jabs can I throw in each round? Now, my coaches suggest that I need to be throwing a lot more punches, both of my coaches. So I try to focus on throwing, on average, 125 jabs each round. That's just right now, just me starting fresh. Now, obviously, I'm going to go up in time. Like, once I realize I can get to 125 faster, I'm going to go up from 125 to 150 or 175. But just straight jabs. And Mondays is jab day. So you know how people have, you know, leg days? Well, my leg day is my jab day. And I just do a jabs for four rounds straight. Do it. I'll switch it up with I, I wait. And then I'll come back and just do freehand. And I come back and use a weight, and I come back and use a freehand. So I'm doing two two rounds of weights, and then two rounds of just, just throwing a jab. And I try to make sure I throw over 125 jabs each round. So you're going to see the clacker, and you're going to hear it every time. You're going to hear it keep going off and going off. That's me. Every time I throw that jab, I'm hitting it, hitting it, okay? So I did pretty good that first round. I did 155 jabs. Now, obviously, that's just the first round. If it was a real fight, I wouldn't throw that many jabs. But for training purposes, I want to throw a lot more jabs. Um, this round, I'm actually doing a weight. So it's going to be a lot more tougher. It's going to be a lot a little harder because, you know, you constantly throwing jabs all day. You know, it's going to it's gonna hurt a little bit. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe below. Butterfly Freeman. Uh, if you don't know who I am, uh, I'm a street beast fighter. Um, I'm, I'm one of the champs there. Uh, I'm trying to make a name for myself. I'm actually do amateur boxing too. So this is kind of just like my little resume. I was like, look at
So see now, this is when I start fucking up a little bit. You know, now if you're a real fighter, you know you're not supposed to really drop your guard down like that when you're throwing jabs. You're still supposed to bring it back to you. And that's just me tired. You gotta tell yourself when you're tired, you know, hey, I gotta bring it back. I gotta bring it back. You know, that that weight, even though it's it's a weight, you still gotta tell yourself, bring it back. Um and if, you, if you're in the Greensboro area, you know, and you, you want to fight or whatever, and I mean Greensboro, North Carolina, if you are interested in fighting men or you want to know how to fight men or box, I suggest you come down to the Matrix MMA. Um, we're right off, of Clemson, uh, right off the Coliseum. You see us running a lot. I promise you, you see us running. You'll see us every day in the morning running. So you just happen to see us running or you see some people running off of uh, Gate City, I promise you, you're near the area. And all you got to know is you're near the Coliseum. Um, and just come down, man. Come get a workout, man. I promise you, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, I've seen people come in and psh, females coming in, getting in the best shape they ever got in. So if you're in the area, I suggest you come down and come, come give it a shot. So with the bag, I usually try to just focus on speed because I don't have the time. I ain't got my clacker in my hand. So I'm working on speed and making sure that I keep my, my guard, you know, my, my left hand, I mean, my right hand close to my chin. Um, and that's just all part of, you know, just repetition, you know, just repetition after repetition. Um, if you know anything about throwing a jab, you know, I think, one thing you gotta have is speed. Bring it back to you. Um, I don't. I, the gloves I wear are 16s. Um, I do have other gloves that I, I have. I, I just ordered me some 32 ounce gloves. I'm probably gonna start wearing those soon. But um, I, I suggest you wear heavier gloves. That way, when you actually do fight, and you wear lighter gloves. You feel like you wearing MMA gloves. I promise you. So. The heavier the gloves you work on speed, the faster you're going to be when you wear lighter gloves.
So basically what we just did right there, or what y'all just saw me just did, was catch drills. He's basically, what he's doing is, he's gonna basically throw either a hook, or he's gonna throw an uppercut to the body. And he's just gonna do a combination, you know, whatever combination your team works on. You know, I'm not gonna tell y'all my team combination. Obviously, if you know it, you know it, but most teams do it differently. Um, so that's usually what we do. Um, my man Shaheem here, my stable mate, he does this a little differently. He he throw four punches instead of high, you know three punches. I suggest three. He likes to throw four. Um, but it's basically just a catch drill where you just you know as soon as your opponent touch, you're gonna throw this combination regardless. And you know if you know what you're doing in the ring, you know you know that in a fight, you know if you're throwing if you're throwing combinations, you know your opponent may be throwing combinations as well, or you're gonna get caught with something. So you have to get used to still throwing punches as you go with it. And that's basically what we've been trying to do the entire time. Now, if you're the person that's supposed to Throwing the punches and letting the person throw or uh, hit. You kind of want to leave your glove out. You don't, want, you don't want them to hit your wrist, but you don't want them to open up a little. Kind of like in between. And you kind of want to throw where they be back. You're like, you know, throw at that, throw at that ass. You know, when you're throwing. You know, me, I'm trying to go to the body, so that way he knows how to lean down there and get it. Or if I throw to the head, that's you want to make him, you know, check it. So. If you're the person throwing punches at your teammate, you need to throw the punches out. Don't, don't just make it weird and he just hits something. You come to the face, make him actually throw. Give it right back to him, but as soon as he's finished, throw something back. Throw something again. There you go. Uh -huh. Yep. Just finish it. Even if he mess up, uh, just finish the combo. Everything See that? Y'all just heard it from Coach Todd Monroe himself. You keep throwing, no matter what. say uh just you know just keep striving to do better y'all um if you don't know who i am you know my name is butterfly Freeman, representing greensboro north carolina coached by todd monroe and stephen matthews at matrix mma um my, my fault my dog acting weird but um you know if if you didn't have it subscribe subscribe down on the link below uh butterfly freeman um you know, my page is actually called the Butterfly Effect. 
um, you get to see everything. You get to see the whole process of what I go through. And me trying to just be a boxer, man, you know? A veteran that's trying to be a boxer. Literally, that's all you're seeing. So, um, you know, subscribe on the link below, man. And I promise you, look, it's gonna be some funny times. It's gonna be some, some crazy times. It's gonna be some times y'all gonna cuss my stupid ass out. It's gonna be some times y'all gonna be like, yo, this dude is wildin'. But I promise you, it's, it's all for the real of me. I promise you. Anybody know me? They gonna tell you, yo, that's him just being him. Being dead ass. Dead ass. So, just subscribe on the link below. I promise y'all, y'all won't have no trouble. You know, I show love. You know, if you got channels, I show love to you. Give you a big shout out to everything, man. So, big shout out to y'all. Oh, I wanna also give a big shout out to my boys out in the 80 Deuce, man. I got buddies that, you know, they're in the 82nd. They probably got their ass sent off Tyran or wherever they was at. I really don't care where they got sent off as long as they come back in one piece. Um, you know, and to all the to all the guys out there, man, that's you know, that's vets trying to make it day to day. You know, you're trying to get your mind right, you know. Big shout out to y'all too, man. Um, I don't wanna hear about no more people getting hurt. But uh yeah, man, that's it for the butterfly effect. I gotta go train my stupid ass dog real quick. He's been acting like an ass today, so I gotta be out real quick, but I'm out, y'all. Later.